Today we are going to be taking a look at the new Charlotte Tilbury skincare and you know I'm going to be examining the ingredients. Hi, my name is Lauren O'Connell and welcome. I am the skincare stylist and I am so excited to be taking a look at the new Charlotte Tilbury products with you today. Charlotte has actually always had a very special place in my heart and that's because Growing up, up until about a year and a half ago, I was plagued with self-doubt. I mean, I was the definition of self-doubt, and it's something I still struggle with to this very day. Anyways, Charlotte was coming to Dubai. She was opening up her stores. It was a big deal, and I really wanted to be a part of it, but I didn't really have enough of a following, and. I ended up buying a ticket to go to the opening of her store and you it was quite expensive but I thought you know what I'm just going to buy it. I bought it, went and I met her and I approached Charlotte and I said to her, can I please be invited to your PR event tomorrow night? I knew where it was, I knew all the details, a lot of the bloggers I knew were going to be there but I just didn't get an invitation and she said yes. And I have to tell you that took so much guts because I just, my natural inclination would be to just hide in the corner. But then at the same time, I always have this sort of this fire inside of me that just wanted me to go for it. So I did and it worked out. And after that, I just, I loved the brand so much more because I understood the woman behind it and I did send her an email later on and she wrote me back. It was really nice. Anyways, I'll tell you a little bit more about my confidence issues <laughs> later on, but right now I really want to talk about these products. So there is this Charlotte Magic Serum Crystal Elixir and the Magic Cream Light. So first let's talk about the elixir. Now this product is packed with anti-aging ingredients. There are so many different peptides and I love peptides. Peptides kind of trick your skin into thinking there's some sort of injury and so more collagen starts to form there and that's gonna give you just firmer skin. There's also a bunch of humectants and humectants are water binding molecules. They sink into your skin and they grab onto water and they are going to give you a temporary plumped up effect. Glycerin and sodium hyaluronate are both humectants. This product also has a polyhydroxy acid in it called glutathione, and this is a very gentle exfoliator for the skin. Polyhydroxy acids are always what I like to use for a chemical exfoliation because they are good for maturing skin. I am 37 years old and I have very, very dry skin that's prone to fine lines and wrinkles. There's also skin calming aloe and copper. Copper is one of those ingredients that I personally have been wanting to incorporate more and more into my skincare regimen. It helps to reduce fine lines and wrinkles. And I do have some of those right underneath my eyes and maybe some emerging crow's feet also in the marionette line. So copper is something that you should also put on your list if you're looking for products with anti-aging ingredients. Well, I've only been using this product for a week and technically I think you should really use a product for about 30 days before you can say if there has been any significant improvement to the skin. I will say that I think my skin looks really nice right now and yes, it does feel a little bit more toned. That could also be from other products I use, but the ingredients in this formula are good and I know that with using this product consistently, I will see more of a toned complexion and I really am focused on that at the minute because I feel the more I'm talking here on the side of my face and in a lot of pictures I'm taking, there seems to be a lack of tone here too, unfortunately. I wonder if I can start putting this on my arms. So that is the actual serum and in just a minute, I'm going to take you into my bathroom and show you how I apply it. Before I do that, let's talk about this Magic Cream Light. Now, this product also has a, a lot of peptides in it. There is fragrance in this formula as well as the Magic Serum. 
So keep that in mind if you are particularly sensitive to the fragrance ingredient. There is also Coco Caprile Caprite, and this is another emollient. I love this ingredient because my skin is so dry. But if you have oily skin or if your skin isn't too crazy about comedogenic ingredients, be warned because that is one, so it may indeed clog your pores. But I want to also mention, lastly, you know what, I'm thinking of this because I think now that my channel is starting to grow some more, that <laughs> it's attracting all kinds. And I actually got the other day a really harsh comment from someone. She was making the point that there were a lot of natural perfumes within products and I wasn't mentioning them. And I, probably should have mentioned that. I do have an entire video dedicated to how to read an ingredients label. And in that video, I do go much more in depth about what nat natural perfumes and fragrances are. And this product does have a few of them. And now I am going to say that I did delete her comment because we started this thread and I felt like she was getting kind of nasty with me. But in the future, I'm just going to leave them. I'm not deleting anything anymore. And if someone doesn't like what I do, then you know what? I'm just gonna keep it there. Now let's go over to my bathroom and I'm going to show you how I apply these products. I never thought I'd film in my bathroom. It's actually really funny right now looking at my camera and my lighting <laughs> all set up. When my husband comes home, he's gonna say, what are you doing? But you know what? I'm just ready to have some more fun with this and to just be more me. So here's my bathroom and this little little outfit I'm wearing right now is actually from Target. It's one of those Velcro towels and highly recommend getting one if you don't have one. I use this every single day. Have my Akis Rapid Dry Turban on my hair which reduces my drying time by about 50%. So anyways, let's go into my shelfie, my shelf, my cabinet. This is one of them. So inside you can see a whole bunch of products. And here is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream Light, the Magic Serum, and the Magic Lip Oil. So let's start off with the Magic Serum. I'm actually so eager to get these products on my skin right now because I have nothing on my face and my dry skin feels like it's going to crack in half. So here's the bottle and I'm going to put about three, ooh, that was about four or five drops into my hands. Best way to put on serum is to rub your hands together and then just press the serum into your skin. Now, I do want to say that this serum contains rosehip oil. Rosehip oil is a natural retinol, that's vitamin A. So I choose to only use this product at night. I don't use retinols during the day on my skin. I also highly recommend storing this serum in a dark place because it also contains ascorbic acid, that's vitamin C. And typically with vitamin C serums, the bottle is usually dark, so it doesn't, the vitamin C itself doesn't oxidize with light. So always keep this one in a dark place because this bottle is clear. Since I'm using this serum exclusively at nighttime, I'm following up with my nighttime skincare routine. Ascorbic acid and the retinol, their pHs will actually cancel each other out. If it's a vitamin C derivative, it doesn't, but when it's pure vitamin C, it does. So for now, I am not using this retinol. So I have the serum on my face, and now I'm going to show you how I apply the Magic Cream Light. And I'm going to start off by just putting a few pumps of the product onto my hand. I love the way the bottle looks. It's very luxe, it's very Charlotte Tilbury. So I put just a nice coating of this on my skin. This product to me is just a very nice moisturizer. I wouldn't really use this product hoping it was going to dramatically change the appearance of my skin. I'm using this more because it's a nice moisturizer. It's also light, so it's perfect for summertime. Now lastly, I do also have the Charlotte's Magic Lip Oil, and this product is packed with emollients. I do want to mention that there is that Rosa Canina fruit oil in here, so there is that vitamin A. And so to apply this, you just rub 
the little ball over your lips and it does give a nice gloss and I like the texture of it. We have a lot going on right now. It's lockdown. You might as well get yourself onto a solid skincare routine. So I highly recommend you check out my playlist on Lauren's Perfect Skincare Recipe, my favorite products that truly do work, as well as my, lit, my playlist on products that turn back the clock. 